Hey guys, so today we're going over a uh, WordPress forms comparison. If you guys have used WordPress plugins, uh, you might be familiar with Contact 7, uh, Gravity Forms, the uh, default WordPress uh, plugins as well. And then you have Ninja Forms and Elementor Forms. So uh, everybody has a different preference in terms of which forms they're using. Uh, one of the main ones, which is WP Forms, uh, has changed their licensing and their information their pricing structure significantly. So if you are, you know, married to any of these forms, this might be an eye opener for you. Uh, for us at Perfect Clicks, we're usually developing on a number of different platforms and we're happy to use any web form uh, that you want to use with WordPress. But what's really interesting here is we did a speed test on Ninja Forms and as well as the built-in Elementor default form. And we compared it in terms of page speed and what's that impact. And that impact is really important for your website because you're either going to impact your quality score if you're running ads, or you're going to impact your core vitals, which is definitely going to impact your SEO and your ads as well. So if anybody's trying to rank uh, within Google organic searches, or if you're doing any paid advertising through Google, or just trying to improve your overall user experience to increase the conversions and establish trust with your visitors, it's really important that your WordPress forms and your WordPress form plugin really works really well. So what we did was we set up a Ninja form page. All, as you can see here, the only thing on this page is a Ninja form. And uh, here you can find that we have an Elementor form set up as well. They have pretty similar fields, so everything's pretty controlled. Uh, we probably could optimize this page a little bit just to note that the site is not set up properly entirely for uh, core vitals just yet. But when you run these two page speeds, what's interesting is that you'll find over on the Ninja forms, the desktop score is about 74 performance. And on the Elementor form, you're down at about 50. So that's kind of built in. Now you can run a number of plugins to bring both of these way up, depending on how you're loading your JavaScript or your CSS and you're caching and minifying all of that code. Uh, but what's also interesting is if you're looking at the mobile, here this was 40. And then actually here, this is 50 on the mobile and the desktop was a little bit higher. This was 63. So this is something to pay attention to. Um, Ninja Forms and Elementor Forms are both pretty comparable with the edge going to Ninja Forms right now. And if you're staying up to date, this is something that they I can see they are uh, prioritizing in their development. So let's keep an eye on this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of the WordPress form plugins. We've used all of them. Uh, I have a preference towards some of them and not the others based on their developers and the people behind the projects, but also their pricing structure and their use for clients. Uh, one of the big things that you have to look at is for layouts and integration with different platforms. A lot of times your forms are the source of leads and you want to make sure that those leads are coming through and they're accounted for. So if you're running any kind of marketing um, campaign, or if you're even doing any kind of development for a client, you have to have really good form plugins and you should run that comparison and be paying attention to that performance. Uh, if there are anybody who is already our client watching this, hopefully this gives you a really good idea of the detail that we're looking at when we develop your site. The quality is just that much higher. If you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If this video helps you, please do leave a like and subscribe. And if you ever need anything in terms of web development, digital marketing, SEO, custom software, all of that, please give us a call at 844-4-CLICKS. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.